In this video, we're going to be talking about harmonic motion. So harmonic motion is the periodic nature of the trigonometric function. It's useful for describing the motion of a point on an object that vibrates, oscillates, rotates, or is moved by wave motion. Let's take a look at an example. From this spring, you can conclude that the period or the time for one complete cycle of the motion is four seconds. Its amplitude or the maximum displacement from the equilibrium, so here's our equilibrium right here, right? So that's our equilibrium. And that's when the ball's at the equilibrium. And so we have the ball going down to its maximum negative displacement and up to its maximum positive displacement. And so our amplitude is going to be basically that distance from our equilibrium to either the maximum or to that minimum, which is going to be about 10 centimeters. And its frequency is the number of cycles per second. So here we have a frequency of one cycle per four seconds. Here, we're saying that that, that period is four seconds because we're gonna assume that the time that it takes for the ball to move from its maximum displacement above zero to its maximum displacement below zero and back again is four seconds. So here we'd say like t equals four seconds, which gives us our period of four seconds. And with the ideal conditions of perfect elasticity and no friction or air resistance, the ball would continue to move up and down in a uniform and regular manner. Motion of this nature can be described by a sine or a cosine function and is called simple harmonic motion. It also looks like we have a little bit of a typo here. Our frequency should be one fourth of a cycle per second. One fourth of a cycle per second. So the definition of simple harmonic motion is a point that moves on a coordinate line when its distance d from the origin at the time t is given either by d equals a times the sine of wt or d equals a times the cosine of wt where a and w are real numbers such that w is greater than zero and the motion has an amplitude of the absolute value of a of our amplitude, and let's use a different color, our amplitude, and we have a period of 2 pi divided by w, and we have a frequency of w divided by 2 pi. Let's put this in action with a, an example. So we're going to write an equation for the simple harmonic motion, so there's our simple harmonic motion, of a ball described above where the period is four seconds. So we want to know what is the frequency of this motion. So we're going to begin by looking at what information we had. So we know that our period is four seconds because that's what we were given up above. In our diagram, we could see that the balls had an amplitude of the 10 centimeters. So we'll say that A equals 10. So therefore our amplitude is the absolute, absolute value of A, which in this case is going to be 10. We know that D is going to equal zero when our time is at zero. So the displacement will be at zero, meaning it will be at the equilibrium. It will be at the equilibrium when our t equals zero. Now using our period equation, so maybe let's do this. We have our four seconds. However, our period equation says that we need to take the two pi divided by our w. And so because we know that our period is four seconds to help us find our w, 
we're going to set that equal to 4. So why are we doing that? We're doing that because we know that we're able to say that D equals A. We'll go ahead and do a sine function. So A times the sine of W times T. And so we're looking for our W. So we're going to start off by multiplying both sides by W to eliminate our W. So now we have 2 pi equals 4 times W. From here, we'll divide both sides by 4. And we're going to see that we're going to have a value that W, let's use the green that we're going to use in a minute, that W is going to equal pi over 2. So our W is our pi over 2. So now we can plug in what we have. We have that D is going to equal 10 times the sine of pi over 2 T. And so this is our, this is our equation. So how do we find our frequency? So now we're going to use, so we've written our equation, now we want our frequency. So our frequency is going to be W divided by 2 pi. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug in what we have. So let's see. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug in our W, and that's going to give us the F equals pi over 2 divided by 2 pi. And so what does that really mean for us? Well, that means that we have pi over 2 divided by 2 pi. So we'll keep change flip, which will give us pi over 2 times 2 over 1, which will then give us a 2 pi caught myself really quick. I forgot to actually flip that, didn't I? So this should be 1 over 2 pi, which is going to give us the ability to cancel out our pi, so there's one on the top and one on the bottom, which gives us a frequency of 1 fourth. And so we get that the frequency is 1 fourth a cycle per second.